So this man here was just very rudely honking me and I'm trying to find out what he wants. Little does he know that my truck is a ramming machine. We're catching up to him. There he goes. <laughs> now there's a reason why you don't want to have road rage with someone who owns a truck like mine. We've got all of this space to obliterate your car with. You know what? I think I'm going to name this the ramming machine. Did someone really just land over here in a cargo bob? No way, I can actually pick my truck up with this. I thought it was going to be too heavy. I mean, it definitely is too heavy because I can't go any higher up. But I'm impressed that it could even lift it off the ground. Oh no, the engine's going. Oh crap. Right, is there any way I can disconnect it before I blow up? Please. So this is the aftermath of when a cargo bob meets the ramming machine. I've now got to figure out some way that I can get this out of here. Oh, here we go. This could work. I need your help, man. Come on. Ow! This man just dunked me and my clothes in the water. And now my truck is nowhere to be seen. Hey, buddy. What's up, man? What's goody? You want a... an R8? This Audi R8 here? Is it yours, though? Yeah, we got a new tags and everything, bro. We just bought it. You guys we dressed just, like this just bought it. Should, yeah, we're bloods. Do you got 500k? If you got 500k, we only got you only got to sign two papers and we'll be done. Dude, why are you pressing me? I just pulled up here. Who said I want to buy an Audi? A stolen Audi. I just realized that I've still got this headset on from when I was flying the cargo bob. I need to take this off somehow. This is ruining my drift. Wait, did these guys just get shot up? What did I miss? Whoa! Did you just see that roll in action? I think this Audi R8 just got stolen. I got the headset off and we're looking better now. Oh yeah, they definitely stole that Audi. Am I getting caught in the crossfire for what, man? Whoa, look at that. My little fanny pack stopped me from getting shot in the heart. I'm not too sure how that worked, but I'll take it. I don't know what's happening here with the Audi R8, but as you can see, it's pretty much ruined. So I may as well finish it off with the ramen machine. Oh man, imagine buying an Audi R8 and then just seeing a semi truck hitting it like this. You know what, I'm gonna get a little run up. I say that and then I reverse halfway across the parking lot. Now I really want to finish the car off. Oh no, it's on fire. Can you believe that this was once an Audi R8? Look at the front of it. <laughs> These guys really think the right place to be dancing is on top of my truck. This man really came to Grove Street in nothing but his boxes. Are you feeling okay? Dude, you need some help finding some clothes? Is the cocaine kicking in? Did you really give this man that? Like he isn't crazy enough? Someone parked my truck up here on the driveway? Hey, don't even think about it. Hop out right now. Hey, you're gonna regret that. Yo, he's still in my truck. I need some help. Hey, yo, go! Hold him up. <laughs> I told you. Yep. And that's why you don't steal my truck. Look at what happened to him. <laughs> They're still shooting. All right, I think he's dead. He's got a couple of bullet holes in him. Burn him. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that was my truck. Your truck is no longer. I know, bro. I kind of needed that back. Guys, check this out. I didn't know you can actually sit on the back like this. Now that is sick. We've got people on the sides and on the back. This truck just became 10 times better. Maybe I can hit this container off the back. If I... There he goes. We fell behind a little bit, but now we're catching up. I'm determined to ram this guy's container off the back. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's... ow. Oh, yeah, guys, I've got a new name for my truck now. So let me unlock it. I'm now calling this the Cheeto Mobile because if we look at the back, Whenever I do a burnout, it lets out Cheeto dust. So yeah, it is a ramming machine, but we're calling it the Cheeto Mobile. Dude, I just wanted to say you've got ginger hair and it kind of matches my truck. Hold up, we match. I may have to rent that hair piece off of you. The Cheeto dust was really orange before, but it seems to have lost a bit of color. Come on, dude, give me a piece of your hair and you can have some Cheeto dust. Ah, oh, fine. You don't need it all, man. You got the beard, you got the... Moustachy stashy. Just take a piece. I'm gonna rip a little thread One. out. One. One little strand? Come on. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Oh, what the? Hey, that was my favorite strand. Like I said, I'm just renting it. I will be giving it back. So don't be alarmed. Did you say you're gonna give it back? Yeah, I said that I'm renting it from you. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. The payment for it is gonna be Cheeto dust. Is that fine? Stand behind my truck. I've got something for you guys. You gotta open your mouth, though. Hopefully these guys like flaming hot Cheetos. Did you enjoy? I mean, I, it didn't smell too good, but yeah. Yeah, it's kind of burnt. You can't get the authentic flaming Hot Cheetos taste, you know? Whoa, do that again. I, I, I learned this last night. <clears throat> Yo, you got their moves, homie. Yeah, man. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, damn. Sorry. That's hey, don't hit him. That's him. <laughs> Just socked me over the head for nothing. Ow! All right, don't make me bring out the strap. 
You killed the ginger man. Sorry for uh, hitting you, Ben. You gotta save this poor man. You killed him for nothing. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, he f***ing punched me when I punched you on accident. So it's his fault. And you put a bullet in me. Yeah, mm. and I apologize for that. We gotta get this man up now. Nah, he'll be fine. Well, he's not. He's leaking from the head. His dome piece is leaking jam. I guess so. <laughs> Hold up. Where did you get this Tesla from? You know friend. Elon? Me and Elon have talked a few times, yeah. Is this your house? Uh, yeah, what else? I mean, what are you cooking up here? Some apples and limes? Dude, you're gonna go swimming today. I am? Yep, because you killed a ginger man for no reason. Okay, do you want me to jump in right now? Yep, go ahead. Whoa! Damn, you just bonked your head on the side. Very nice in here, actually. You should hop on in. Are you trying to get me to go on a swimming date with you? What? You just tried to make me hop in the pool with you. I'm just, uh, for fun, not... I have a wife, dude. Well, listen. I'm not trying to go on a swim. She's date my wife day. now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't want to get, get too close. close. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Easy, bro. You don't have to fart on the window. Since this man wanted to fart on the window, we're going to give him a bit of the ramen machine. What damage can we do backwards? It's still pretty deadly even this way. Oh, man. We crushed him. Hey, bro, he farted on me. What do you expect? Chill. I don't want to break this man's McLaren, but he's giving me no choice. I'm ramming you because you farted on my nose. He's got the pistol out now. <laughs> Dude, why did you have to fart on me? Why you have to run my car over? Well, you farted on my nose, bro. I'll do it again. Dude, don't. Do it again. Your, I don't care. You're gonna pay my insurance. You wreck my McLaren. <laughs> so there's a few cops pointing weapons at me right now. So this guy, no joke, just made me go through like a 30 minute scenario with the cops. And I'm not too happy about it. Hey, tough guy, I'm speaking to you. If you need serious help with your bowels, I could probably help you out. I don't need help with none. I can control it. Listen, I got some Cheetos for you. Wait right here. They're gonna help loosen things up. Just gonna let it all out. I don't want that. You've gotta leave your mouth open open otherwise it's not gonna work wait for it there we go cheeto dust i'm just trying to help you out because you have something inside your bunghole so apparently the rapper little uzi verts in here i don't know if i believe that but we're about to find out this sign here says that we check ids although there's not a single person behind the desk wait where does this even lead oh it's like a bar and there we have it little uzi vert performing by himself on stage and by the looks of things not a single person is here. You know what? That show was so goddamn disappointing that I'm out of here. Guys, there's a bunch of cops behind me. Do you think if I hit this bong right here out in public, they're going to say something? All right, sir, put down the bong right now. Sir, why am I being cuffed? For possession of drug paraphernalia, as well as smoking marijuana. Excuse me, that was tobacco in my bong. No, it was not. I literally could smell the marijuana coming off you. Maybe that was the marijuana you Up smoked before work. the truck right now, you're getting frisked. Whoa, I've never seen someone be this aggressive. Talking about up against the truck, you're gonna get frisked. What does that mean? Sir, I really don't think this is all necessary. It absolutely is necessary, sir. I'm sorry, but that bong can be used for anything. It was not used for anything, it was used for marijuana. I could smoke cat hair out of that if I want. Yeah, you could, but you were smoking marijuana. Where's the proof? I told you it was tobacco. You told me... And then you were walking around in front of me, about to fall over with how much marijuana you smoke. You realize marijuana has an odor. I do, but that might be the marijuana you're smelling on yourself. Listen, Mr. Jackson, I've had enough with your attitude. Is this your bike right here, sir? Uh, no, that's not my bike. I've got a truck called the Cheeto Mobile. Hey, sir, since this is my first offense, I'd really appreciate if you could uh, swipe it under the rug. Sir, I want you to understand, I am a deputy undersheriff with the Carolina State Sheriff's Office, okay? I'm not gonna put it under the rug. I know a lot of people in this city smoke marijuana, okay? But you're the one who came out in front of all the officers and was doing that in front of us, okay? A lot of people who smoke marijuana, they do it inside the comfort of their homes. No officer will ever know. But you decided to do that in front of us. So what do you think was going to happen? Well, listen, sir, I just came out of a little Uzi show. What do you expect? Oh, I understand. You were having fun. But you also, you were doing it in front of the police officers. I think you, I think part of you was honestly taunting us. You didn't think we were going to do it. And then you got arrested. That's now, kind of true. I'm not going to lie. This is your first arrest. But you have to understand stuff like that. You, you get arrested for it. Okay. Damn it. This man really sent me to jail for a little bit of marijuana. Oh, would you look at this? Another semi-truck. 
Hey man, I don't know if you know, but there can only be one semi-truck in town. Ow! I don't think he cares. I'm in the police department looking through the window into the jail cell area. And I can see this man laying on the floor. God knows what happened to him. Oh yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. But if I remove my bag, you can see that I've got a Scarface jacket on. How sick is that? And then on the back, it says Supreme as well. Dude, hold up. What is this? It's like a futuristic smart car. Oh, you want to see the turning on this? Yep, I do. <laughs> oh no. So apparently he's showing me the turning now. Oh man, dude, this car feels so weird. Guys, look, when you turn it pretty much leans back. I've never seen a car with these mechanics before. And look at the front door. They don't open on the side, but it opens on the front. Now that's a pretty sick car.